In this quick tip, we're going to learn about naming our data types and fields. This is subjective, as you can name your data types and fields to whatever you'd like. Since Bubble is so flexible, you can even name data types and fields with spaces in between words. The key here is you have the ability to be as descriptive as you can, so you can keep track of it as you build, so you won't have to ask yourself, what is this later on? As you're being descriptive, keep in mind two things, duplicates and plurals. We recommend naming types and fields singularly, as Bubble will automatically pluralize it by adding the appropriate S to the end of your name. For example, you may think that you want to have many events, so you would name the data type events. But if we do this and search for events, we'll now see that Bubble will append the S making it events wherever we use it. By keeping it singular, the pluralization is handled for you and your types and fields will make more sense. Again, Bubble is flexible, so if this isn't your style, take this as a recommendation. Be on the lookout for duplication. For example, we have a data type named event, but we also have an option set named event. If we try to define a type of content, we won't know which one is which. So when naming things with the same name, try to add something more descriptive. So when you go to use it, you can easily identify the one you mean. That's it for this quick tip. For more, be sure to check out bubble.io slash academy.